Hello. What's your name? Romika Annabel. And uh, what's your relations uh, to me in this interview? And uh, what do you do exactly? I'm your wife. Everybody knows that, I guess. And um, yeah, I'm an actress in Los Angeles. Have you done any projects that the audience might recognize or anything that you'd like to talk about? Yeah, Grace and Frankie. I um, was in one episode. Thank you so much. So, it's been really productive. Um, and Margie, you are hysterical. I adore you. <laughs> so good to get an early start. Who is Margie? So, I guess I should preface this interview by saying that it's very unusual to have a husband interview his own wife. But the thing is, you experienced something firsthand that I did not. And I thought it was very important that the audience should hear it from the firsthand experience, from, from the person who, who, who had this happen. So what was it that you saw a month ago? A remote viewing session. Before, before the Bilderbergers met and everybody knew that um, this meeting was announced 48 hours before, what is very unusual, and I watched a remote viewing session. You mean, so what happened in the remote viewing session? The person who remote viewed did not know what she is actually going to do. Um, as I understand, she got a number. She did not know who Luke Rodowski, Dan Dix, Max Bachman, um, Josh Friedman, all those kids are. She didn't know that she is going to remote where the next Bilderberg meeting is going to happen. Is there anything from that session that specifically sticks to your mind when you remember... What she said? Yes. Yes, there was very something very specific but sticked in my mind and she said she saw a creature with horns she couldn't really specifically say what it is if it's a sculpture or if it's a logo or whatever but she said the horns and wings so i guess um the audience is probably wondering uh what we must be talking about when we discuss remote viewing and bilderberg so just to backtrack, about a month ago, what was the channel that you saw this on? We are changed NL. So that is We are changed Netherlands. What resonated to me is that she predicted things in a way it actually happened. She said things about she saw red and white things, the Switzerland flag is red and white she also um described things like around a lake with, or or with with a lot of green around and the genfer see is exactly like that it's surrounded by mountains and this woman predicted it like that she she made a drawing about that And yeah, and, and she said that she saw like 
a creature or whatever. She didn't really say it's a creature. She just saw that there's something with horns and wings or something like that. So when did you first find out about this, this idea that you had seen a remote viewing session? Before. Not ahead of time. Um, so I figured it out before the Bilderberg uh, meeting happened or before it was announced where it's going to be. I would say it's like one and a half months ago. And, and when did you discover that her predictions had been correct? 30 days ago. How did you discover that? Because there are five kids who actually went there and uh, made videos about how this interior area looks like. Right, guys. Just out for a jog. Where are you going? <laughs> are we where are you going? I'm going for a jog. How did you feel when you first saw this happened when you saw what was removing session essentially manifest before your eyes how did you feel about that i was shocked that's actually real have you did you believe in remote viewing before is this something that you've ever considered no really i'm, I'm actually genuinely surprised I thought you actually believed in it a little bit. I mean, I know that you guys are doing that on Second Earth. And, you know, obviously I know my husband. And, you know, he has his envelopes here laying around, which are sealed. And, um, but I didn't actually consider that it's so real. That it's uh, something inside you, what you can take out of yourself and predict something else. Is there anything else that you remember about that session that sticks in your mind that you wanted to tell the audience? There were, yeah, there, there was something. I, I had a very warm feeling as I heard this information, um, you know, what she was talking about um, in the beginning, you know, as she did this remote viewing, because it was so warm because she didn't really say it is 100% like this. She said, I have a feeling my my body feels like this, that I, you know, they're very powerful people, but I'm not feeling comfortable around them. So she really talked about her feelings, how her body or spirit is kind of getting this information in her mind. And I really liked that. Um it wasn't like this that from the beginning I said, this is 100% real. But it felt, felt warm and okay. Yeah. And I liked that. When you first saw the Bilderberg group, I, I guess it was in, uh, was it We Are Change? Was that the first time you saw it in? I, I'm guessing here. I'm not sure, 100% certain. What, about the Bilderbergers? Yeah, or was it Josh Friedman? Or when was the first time that you saw it? that about this year's Bilderbergers meeting, I figured out, I think, on We Are Change. We Are Change? Yeah. And, and when did you figure out that it actually matched your remote viewing? Was there, was there something specific or anything that happened that... I'm not quite right? sure if it was on Dan Dick's um, show um, or on Josh Friedman's, but they showed um, the... Montreux Palace Hotel and a Swiss flag. And then it clicked in my mind. Red and white. And they showed it like, and I said, what the fuck? She said something like, I'm seeing red and white, but I'm not really sure how I can put that together but I think this was a moment for me and it was just you know like a one second thing but yeah is um I, is there any last thoughts or any um it just anything that in general about this experience that 
that we haven't covered that you might want to express to the audience? I think it's very courageous from this um, young journalists um, that they are going there without any um, funds from big legacy media and covering this by themselves. Hey, hey, hey. Why, why? Hey, hey, hey. Why, why are you touching? <laughs> We're press. No, 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 look, press. Press, 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 press. Media. Yeah, 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 so media. Oh, no. And I love that. I want to encourage all of them. I think that's great. Okay. Very proud of them. Keep going. Well, well, I'm, you know, I'm going to say I'm very... Uh, basically, what I'm trying to do here is I want to give you the honorary envelope for the remote viewing session since you said that you did never actually believe in this, but this kind of got your head, you know, going the other direction. So we did a remote viewing session uh, just a couple episodes ago. And uh, yeah, I'm going to give it to you f to unveil to the audience, if that's okay. But I'm also very proud on because there's a real seal on it. What I got from France. So, you know, you have to understand this. You have to crack this. Oh, do you know what, it, what is in there? No. Okay. Well, let's, try, let's find out then. And what is this? This has two sides. So we have a bottle of milk, it looks like. And, and is that food or? Both of them look like a peanut. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut that one off, but okay. Um, so, well, yeah, I just wanted to, to thank you ahead for being uh, you know, courageous enough to talk about your experiences. Uh, and yeah, and thank you for helping us out on Second Earth. Remote viewing. Bye.